Hello! In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to back up your WordPress website using the plugin Updraft Plus. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the plugin repository and click Add New. And you're going to search for Updraft. Updraft Plus WordPress backup plugin, over a million installations, and we're going to install now. After it's installed, it's going to ask you to activate, so you simply push activate. Now, we're going to refresh, and we should be able to see the Updraft Plus backup right here under settings. So we'll go ahead and click that and explore the settings for Updraft Plus. Now, before you proceed, we wanna make sure that before the first backup is run that you have your caching plugins off, your CDN or Cloudflare turned off, and any minification plugins, as well as host and server caching turned off. Now, um, the host and server caching is going to be within your hosting account, so you have to log in over at your hosting account and make sure those are all shut down, turn off, turned off. <laughs> You'll also want to navigate to your plugins list, and if you have any caching on here, you'll go ahead and um, turn those or deactivate those and um, any minification plugins as well. And then if you have Cloudflare, that just depends on how you have that set up. It may be within your um, hosting platform. It could be that you have Cloudflare plugin here on your plugins list that you deactivate, or um, you might also be running it through the Cloudflare uh, website itself, which you'd have to navigate into your account there and put it in development mode um, for the time being. After you have all of that turned off, we're gonna move on to the first step in setting up Updraft Plus. Now, after you've ensured that all the caching, CDNs, and minification plugins have been um, deactivated or turned off for the moment, you're gonna navigate back to Updraft Plus backups, and you're gonna be on the, this screen right here. Now, you'll see that there are three options, the backup now, restore and clone and migrate. Now, keep in mind, the clone and migrate is a pro option, so you will not be able to use this unless you upgrade to the pro version of Updraft Plus. Now, um, here below, you're going to see that I have not run or tested this plugin yet here on our site, on my site, so nothing is currently scheduled and there are no backups that have been completed. As you run backups, those are going to be listed here um, on this page, you'll be able to see those. So now I want you to head over to the settings tab and you'll notice that you can set um, your backups manually. Now there's no way to set the exact time that you want these uh, backups to occur. So I'm going to tell you exactly how to uh, do this. So creating backups can um, really take a toll on your website. It's very taxing. So what you want to do is make sure that you're um, doing your first back backup when you have your slowest tra traffic time. So that may mean staying up one night till midnight or after midnight and um, running your first backup. So once you've done that, you can set it to um, any of these uh, other options so that it's running at that same time either every um, four hours from the time you ran your first one, every day from the time you ran that first one, weekly, fortnightly, or monthly. So whichever one you're going to choose here is dependent on how frequently you are posting or updating your site. So for someone who only posts once a week, you can um, definitely just set it for the weekly option. If you're posting, you know, every day, you're pro you might have to do, um, you know, every 12 hours or a daily backup as well. So if you're only posting like once a month, you could definitely do the monthly option. You're gonna uh, leave this setting here as retaining two copies on your hosting site and in your host files because you don't wanna do um, too many because then it will really bog down your storage. So what's really neat about Updraft Plus is that you're able to send copies of your backups to one of these remote storage locations because ultimately you don't want to rely on 
the files that are sent to your host. Because if something happens at your host and those files disappear, then you don't have a backup op option that you can personally access. So this is the whole purpose of, of making sure that you're backing up your site to a remote storage location, location yourself that something else besides where your host is storing those files. So you can choose any of the following. Um, some of the most popular ones would be Dropbox, the Amazon S3, um, or Google Drive. The only problem with um, Google Drive and Dropbox is that it has a very limited amount of storage unless you're paying for a higher um, storage plan. So now that you've connected to your remote storage, we're going to back up your site. Now keep in mind, mine's not connected, um, but we're still gonna run a backup anyways. So you can tell I have not run a backup on this site yet. We're gonna click back up and we're gonna include the database and any files. And this says it's not gonna be sent to any remote storage because I didn't set that up. Um, yours should not say this if you set up your remote storage correctly. If it does say this, then that means you didn't set it up correctly. So we're gonna go ahead and click back up now. And for my site, it should be pretty fast because I do not have a lot of um, files and plugins and those and everything else on this um, site. So yeah, that was super fast. And now it, you can tell right here that it gives me a time st stamp of when um, I backed up my site last. Now, keep in mind that my site was super fast because number one, it's not live, so I have no traffic to the site right now. And also, um, it doesn't have a, any blog post or really anything large on the site. So the bigger your site is, the more traffic it is, the more important it's going to be for you to run these backups in the middle of the night or whenever your lowest um, traffic time is. So keep that in mind. Now let's navigate and look at the existing backup we just ran. You can see that these are the different um, files that were backed up and we can restore them by just selecting which ones we want to restore. So if only your plugins were corrupted, you can definitely just restore your plugins same with your themes. If your themes were corrupted, you can click themes and restore from there. Or you can select all and end up restoring all of them. Now, just to recap, we use the Updraft Plus free version of the plugin to create an, a connection with an external storage system like one of these listed here. That way, your files are sent to this external storage and you will be able to restore your site if you can no longer get in through your hosting account or if you can't get in through the plugin. You would just simply export those files and then upload them via FTP. Now, if you can get into the back of the plugin like we discussed before, you can go ahead and click restore and, and click what you would like to restore to your site. It's as simple as that. Now, if you have any questions, please make sure you comment below. And thank you for joining Restore 316. We hope you have a wonderful day.